Hey guys, today I just wanted to share what I grabbed in 2022 at Star Wars Celebration Anaheim for my autograph collection. I got quite a few autographs and I wanted to share them all with you today. So first up, let's look at some of the, what we got. We ended up getting two Star Wars Celebration Diamond Grogu's. These are exclusive to a 3000 piece. And when I did hear about that, I ended up collecting quite a few R2-D2s. I ended up collecting four of them, all with different... <laughs> Oops, I just dropped a pop. But each with a different sticker. These are the two autographs that I got at Denver Fan Expo 2022 by Giancarlo Esposito and Ashley Eckstein for Ahsoka. I also ended up getting a car, a dune as well. Now, for to start off uh, the, the celebration for 2022, I did also end up getting a bunch of the Star Wars Celebration exclusives, including this Return of the Jedi Celebration. And I did end up getting Eunice Suetamo, I'm sorry if I pronounced that wrong, but autograph on Chewbacca, who does play the modern day Chewbacca since the solo movie and Force Awakens. I do realize I could have got Matt Lanter on Darth Vader. That would have been pretty cool on that celebration. I saw a few people get that. I did end up getting Tamora Morrison's Boba Fett and then later at Fan Expo I ended up getting Ming No Wen for Fennec Shan and now I have this double signed which is a pretty cool addition. I do have an extra duel of Mustafar as well. One that's unsigned. Now taking a look at some of these autographs, these are pretty much the like half the autographs that I did get. To start off, I got Daniel Logan, who played young Boba Fett in Attack of the Clones. I decided to get him on this Boba Fett pop because I feel like it looks like a younger, more vintagey version. I, there's quite a few pops that I've seen Daniel Logan sign, and I just personally thought that this one would look really good. Next up, we got Matthew Wood on Biv Fortuna, which is a pretty cool pop. He does play Biv Fortuna in um, more of the modern day Star Wars uh, films and TV shows. Next up, we got Mike Quinn, who plays Neen Nun. That was a pretty fun one to get. I like getting some of these unique characters. And next up, we did get Tamora Morrison as Clone Commander Cody. This is one of my favorite pops. It's such a clean looking clone. I do like all the unique clones. So getting this one signed was pretty cool. And I thought it was uh, one of the good choices. I decided to get this uh, Clone Commander Cody as well as the Boba Fett on the throne. And I thought those were two pretty cool pops to get signed. Next up, we got Kelly Tran, who plays Rose in The Last Jedi and Rise of Skywalker. I decided to get her autograph on The Last Jedi because I personally did like at least her character development in The Last Jedi. She was a very interesting character, and nonetheless, I'm happy to get her autograph. She was also very kind. All these actors are always very kind. Next up, we got Amy Allen, who plays Ayla Sakura. I also got her autograph on a Vintage Collection figure, but I'm happy to get the pop. I think the pop is really clean. It's a Smuggler's Bounty exclusive. There's only one pop for her, and overall, I'm really happy to add this one to the collection. Next up is a unique one. We got Ian McDermott, who, and he also put the quote, Unlimited Power. It's a small Sharpie, so... It's kind of a thin autograph, but I'm happy to get it. He's getting very old, so I'm happy to see him while I can. Next up, we got Billy Lord. Now, her autograph at the time was very fast. You could only get the signature, and you didn't have a lot of time to talk to her. She was really nice, and I think the autograph is a pretty unique one to add to the collection. Next up, we got another Matthew Wood for his most iconic voice, Dreno Grievous. There were two General Grievous Pops at the time of uh, Star this Star Wars celebration, the Walgreens exclusive and the Hot Topic. I decided to get the Hot Topic one time because I think it actually visually looks kind of cool because he has his four arms and holding four lightsabers. There's a little bit more detail compared to the Walgreens, even though the Walgreens one is a pretty clean one. I also decided to get 
Unisu Atamas. I originally got wanted to get him on just this Chewbacca. So it was a nice addition to get him on the Celebration sticker Chewbacca as well. He does such a cool autograph with the little Chewbacca as well. I really, really like that. But I wanted to get a chance to maybe get this pop double signed in the future. So I thought it would be a pretty fun one to get signed. Next up, we have a whole bunch of Clone War stuff. We have two Captain Rex pops. And the reason I got two is because the original one that I got is actually a sticker swap NYCC version. So it is supposed to be the shared version. So I did want to make sure I got just an official clean Captain Rex Pops. I ended up grabbing the second one. So I got them both signed. And with quotes, it was pretty clean to get. I don't remember the exact quotes and they are kind of sloppy. But this one was, yes, Lord Sidious, I'll do it. Uh, stay back, find fives, find fives, find fives, find fives, fives, which is a pretty cool one. And then this quote says, many people wish it didn't happen, but without it, we clones would never, wouldn't exist. I love that quote as well. So I'm very happy to get both of those pops signed. I always thought I would sell or try and make my money back with that one, but so far I still have it in the collection. Either way, it's not a fake. There's no fake Captain Rex Pops as of right now, and still a really cool one. Next up, we got an Anakin Skywalker from Matt Lanter. I'd love to see Matt Lanter once again get a few more stuff from him signed. And the quote that I decided to get on this one is, I understand more than you realize. I understand wanting to walk away from the Order, which is a very famous quote from the Clone Wars. And I thought it's just a clean autograph overall on a very good uh, Anakin pop for Clone Wars. Now there's quite a few more, so maybe I'll try and see him again in the future. Next up, we got Katie Sackoff as Bo Katan. She ended up using a silver pen, so it's a little difficult to see in the video, but I, I can assure you that it is there. I decided to get on the Clone Wars pop instead of the Mandalorian. Simply because I really love this Clone Wars pop. I always loved the little blue shield that she has on. And I want to get a lot of Clone Wars pop signed. So I decided I was only bringing one. And I decided to end up getting the Clone Wars instead of the Chase Mandalorian version. Next up, we got Michelle Ang for Omega. You can't fight them all. <laughs> I don't know. That's the, how she gave it to me in person when um, I got the autograph. She's also very, very nice, very shy. It's really nice to see her get used to some of the Star Wars fans at Celebration and take the stage. But there is only one Omega Pop. It's a Target exclusive. Overall, I like it. Clean autograph, clean quote. Really, really happy with that. Next up, the classic Star Wars Rebels. I am no Jedi. I feel like. If you're a fan of Ashley and Ahsoka, you just have to have the Rebels I Am No Jedi autograph. It's just a mandatory in a collection, in the Ahsoka collection. Um, hopefully I see her multiple, multiple, multiple more times in the future and get more stuff signed. I hope to get all the pops signed. Right now there's like nine uh, that exist, with around five or six of them being more for Ashley Eckstein over Rosario Dawson's Ahsoka. But this is one of my favorite ones in the collection. Very simple, very straightforward, but very clean indeed. Next up, we got Taylor Gray as Ezra. Now his autograph was actually in the smaller room, which I was kind of surprised. Quite a few of these were in a smaller room instead of the main area. Four autographs. And on this side, it says, May the Force be with you always. Very cool autograph. I have a couple <laughs> Ezra Pops. I originally had one that I got at a comic book shop for retail, and then, but it was a little damaged, so I ended up getting this one for around forty to fifty dollars. Now this pop has skyrocketed up a lot, and yeah, I'm happy to have this one. It's pretty cool that I got this way before um, the Ahsoka show and Ezra becomes a live-action character. It would be cool if Taylor Gray gets a cameo somewhere in there. And next up, we do have another T. Bradley Baker. I got quite a few at this celebration. I didn't know that he went to so many different events. And I did have had another chance to see him. And hopefully still see him in the future. But I did end up getting a Rebels Captain Rex pop. I got this pop for $20 at a pop swap back in the day. I saw it and it was perfectly mint. He wanted $25. I was like, will you take a $20? He was like, done. <laughs> 
but I do have a, a quote on the side that's pretty difficult to see, but it does say, after the war, I question the whole, or I question the, the point of the whole thing. All those men died, and for what? That's a pretty deep quote. It's when he's talking to Ezra about, and Ezra's trying to recruit him to rejoin the fight. And this is a smuggler's bounty, so it is a pretty uh, cool pop nonetheless. Old Man Rex, Return of the Jedi Rex. <laughs> and yeah, I'm happy to have that one. I want to grow the Rebels and Clone Wars collection as big as possible in the future. So this was a really, really great start in the first big Star Wars haul I ever did. And next up, we got Sam Witwer. Now, I decided to get his autograph on the Star Wars Rebels pop. I also did get his autograph on a Vintage Collection figure, the one where he is fighting with Ahsoka, and it says, I see the Padawan needs one last lesson. And then on the side of this, I decided to get the quote, Perhaps my actions will speak louder than words. All capitalized. Looks pretty awesome. Just... This pop was a great addition to the Star Wars Rebels autograph collection that I got going. And pretty mandatory one as well. So I did try and get the main ones as I could. And I really, really hope to get the rest of the Ghost crew as well. And to end the day, I got the armor. This is the way, Emily Swallow. Then you are a Mandalorian no more. I asked for this quote before the season came out and she was like, uh, when I saw the trailer, I asked for the trailer quote, and she was like, are we allowed, are we allowed to say that? I was like, yeah, yeah, the trailer released, uh, we, we saw it at the event, at, and, uh, at the stage, and, uh, she was <laughs> willing to talk to me for, like, 10, 15 minutes, which was very nice. I have met her again since then, and, yeah, again, talks for like 10 minutes she's absolutely wonderful i highly recommend seeing her if you get the chance she is so much nicer than you can imagine and she will make you love the armor so so much more this is one of my favorite characters in mandalorian now and i am rooting for her all the way <laughs> i also did end up getting the giant millennium falcon the star wars celebration sticker version it was a haul to get home but they did give us a giant box and uh yeah I did have to go all the way to Anaheim for this event, so I had an, a certain amount of stuff that I could bring and stuff that I picked up along the way. Overall, I'm really, really happy with the haul, and it did inspire me to go to 2023, which you guys will see next. And yeah, I will go to many more Star Wars celebrations in the future. The next one in Japan, hopefully I'll be able to go to that one. And yeah, for now, I hope you guys enjoy. Till next time. Peace. <sighs>